Hi Virgo, welcome to your general reading for the October. This is Mary, it's Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you and welcome. Um, thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me, whether you've reached out for personal readings, tipped or donated to the channel, or just subscribed to my channel. Thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me, helping to grow the channel and being a part of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need. Tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. This is a general collective reading, so it may or may not resonate with you at this time. Um, so please hold off for future readings. Not every reading is for every person every single time. So please remember that. And um, energy can be interchangeable and flip-flopped around at any given time. It could be about somebody around you or it could be your energy, um, however you see. I will read it as a general reading. If you could fit it into any kind of situation in your life, please feel free to do that, whether it's a love situation, whatever here. I do your love reading separate, so this will be just a general reading. Okay, so let's see what we have for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, going into fall. Happy early Halloween. All right, Virgo. So this is a zodiac oracle. We we could get a planet sign element. So whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with what comes out, that is totally fine. All right. So what could some Virgos have around them for October general reading, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Can we have one card for Virgo? Venus. Well, Venus. Um, I believe is Libra, Taurus. I believe. And that is the planet of love. So we'll see how that plays. It could be self-worth, self-love, having uh, compassionate and love with those around you, peace, harmony. So you know, we'll see how that plays out into your reading. And you have seven there on Venus, which is a very divine spiritual number. All right. So let's get an energy for you for October. What's going on with Virgo spirit, please? For October, what's going on for Virgo for October? Thank you so much. What's going on with Virgo for October? Environment. So we have 44. And four is about stability, the basis, the foundation. 448 is about travel, action, communication, movement. And you see green here, so it could be, you know, the heart chakra or it could be uh, wealth and abundance. So, you know, in your environment, it could just be, you know, having having a great month, having uh, loving friends and family around you. And it's just a very happy, joyous month, feeling content, peaceful, harmonious and happy, just loving everything around you. In the month of October, feeling very stable and grounded also. So I don't know, we'll see. So let's see what's on the top of the deck. So we have happy endings. So 93, which is 12, then that is three. So that's about, you know, people coming together, working together, rejoicing, reuniting. And you see yellow there, it's a very happy, joyous color. So I feel like you're gonna be having a very happy month in October, spiritual partnership. So this could be just, you know, 27, nine. So Nine is about uh, almost at a completion of something. So if there's something you're completing in the month of October, you will have a happy ending. It'll be a very happy, joyous time for you with those around you, those you love, your environment. It could be your work, your career, just your happy home and family, your partnerships in some way. And as I said that, I just realized this does say spiritual partnership. So you could be feeling very spiritual also in October. Um maybe reconnecting with your faith, spirituality, religion, whatever it is for you. I'm getting a very peaceful, grounded, happy energy feeling, um, just feeling very stable, happy and content, loving, loving and nurturing, caring, compassionate energy. Like everything is just going right for you. Because the sun is really, the sun here is just really sticking out to me, especially with the yellow here. It's all about happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, growth, expansion, happy home and family. I just feel like everything going right for you in October. So I don't, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I get a good read here with the tarot. So Virgo, Virgo, 
October spirit, please. Put all the tarot in order for Virgo to give them the most accurate reading and messages that they need to hear for the collective for October spirit, please. Thank you so much. What is going on with Virgo? All right. What's Virgo's energy? What's going on with Virgo? And then you see purple here. Purple is all about manifesting. So I feel like you've manifested something here uh, in your life. And then I see purple here. And then this yellow orange color is also in here. So whatever you've manifested here is really coming, you know, into fruition in October. All right. So what's going on? The King of Pentacles energy. <laughs> and that's your energy. Thank you, Spirit. King of Pentacles, that is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So standing in your energy, again, being very stable, grounded energy. Just being in your energy. You know, Pentacles is very stable energy. It's secure. It's growth, abundant energy. It's very practical, smart, analytical energy. Wow. Being very stable and secure. All right. And I felt that energy, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Rods. So I feel like here the Eight of Cups is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this is an energy of walking away from something no longer fulfilling for you, but then you walk can always walk to something more fulfilling. So I feel like you're just walking towards your fulfillment in October and being like right in your energy. Two of Rods, so making plans, fire energy here, uh, Leo Sagittarius, the Cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces, doesn't have to be, but those are the signs out of here. Two of Rods, fire energy, being very fiery, passionate, determined, making plans, decisions, moving forward in your future, making, you know, exciting plans. Or you've made exciting plans, and now they're like, you've made exciting plans, and now they're all coming to fruition and you're walking in that energy now. Wow. So let's get two more clarifiers for you. Two more clarifiers for you. Wow. So we have the Six of Cups energy. Water again. And then we have the Ace of Swords. This is always divine energy to me. This is the sword of truth and victory. A brand new beginning. Success, victory, enlightenment, um, a big epiphany, aha moment, truth, clarity, standing up for yourself or others, not taking BS from anyone, cutting out the sword. The sword here cuts out things no longer serving you also. It's gifted to you from the divine energy. This is always divine saying this is the truth of your situation for some of you. Six of cup energy here. This could be uh, six of cups talks about memories, nostalgia, things of the past. Um, happy home and family from your childhood, childhood friends, family. So, and again, and I felt, you know, happy, loving, compassionate, peaceful, harmonious home, family life. And this could be just, you know, Six of Cups, just your, your family life, your friends, your family that you've been with forever. Just a very happy, content energy. And having your big, sort of victory here uh, moving forward in this new beginning wow all right so let's see if we can get some uh of your actual situation now for you virgo 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 i feel like you've made those plans with the two of rods like you set your destiny your manifestation what you wanted and you took that action with the eight of cups you left behind what was no longer fulfilling to you you knew what you wanted and you went for it, you went for it. And now you're having this brand new beginning, you're standing in your energy of being, you know, so grounded, stable, uh, growth, abundance, happy, joyous, feeling very spiritual and reconnecting with that part of you, religion, faith, whatever it is for you. So we have the Queen of Rods, that is the uh, fire. We have the Four of Pentacles. One more. And the Two of Cups. So the Queen of Rods here is fire energy. So this could be somebody around you who's a fire sign. If not, that's just your energy of being very 
uh, Leo Sagittarius of being very fiery, passionate, determined, going after what you want with a lot of passion, drive, and ambition, being in that fiery energy, I feel. And it's right connected to the Eight of Cups. So I felt like, I feel like you knew you made those plans, decisions, you knew what you wanted, you saw your vision here with the Ace of Swords, and you just went after it. You got up and left what was not serving you, and you just went after it with a lot of passion, drive, and ambition. And now you have the Four of Pentacles energy. So this is an energy of um, your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, of holding on to, you know, your stability. Um, it's holding on and, like, not giving either. So, and that's right in the middle of your spread. So I feel like you just held on to this dream, this, you know, vision you had for yourself. You look, you're like, this is for me. This is what I want. I'm not letting it go. I'm holding on to it. I'm going to manifest this come hell or high water moving forward. This is what's going to make me stable and sturdy and grounded for the future. And I'm holding on to that. All right. So then the next one is the two of cups. So this can be about, you know, unity coming together. This could be just coming together with friends, family, people that you see eye to eye with that you're on the same page with this can be your own personal alignment with your true self soul purpose spiritual alignment um can also you know be coming together here with a person you know usually soulmates coming together um uh, but this is a general reading so i just feel like you're finally truly aligned with who you truly are what you are going to do moving forward in living out your truth and your destiny and being totally aligned with that. Holding on to that, holding on to that dream and just going after it with the Queen of Wands energy. All that passion, excitement, determination. So let's get two more, two more, two more for your actual situation. Or, you know, it could be maybe, you know, moving forward with a partner in your vision. Six of Rods, nice. Success, victory, fire energy again. So now we have another new beginning. So we have the Six of Rods, fire energy. So there you are, being successful, victorious, getting the attention, um, being um, rewarded for all your hard work. So there is your success and victory after all this passionate, dedicated effort moving forward. And there's another brand new beginning with Venus there with love. Love, compassion, peace, harmony, spiritual fulfill fulfillment in every single way with friends, family, career. Could be with, even with a love here. Just being totally two aces back to back here. The ace of swords and the ace of cups. Divinely guided for you. Truth, clarity, victory, sort of victory. Love, compassion, unity, fulfillment. Divine energy, spiritual enlightenment spiritually connected all right so let's get your advice moving forward Virgo I just see you be, being very like I said very positive energy here of stable grounded loving compassionate fulfilled being determined moving forward being victorious happy ending so Okay, I missed something here. So, all right. So this is your advice. All right. I'm sorry. I got a little confused. <laughs> oh, brain fart. Okay. Virgo, what is your advice for October in this situation moving forward for you? Wow. So now we got the Queen of Pentacles. Your energy again with the Knight of Rods. So here's that fiery, passionate energy. The Knight takes action. So, and then the Queen of Pentacles, your energy again of being very stable, grounded, practical, smart, wise, growth, abundant. Abundant. So this is telling you to keep moving forward with all your passion, drive, and ambition because you are stable, sturdy, and grounded. Growth, expansion, smart, practical, being in your energy. To keep moving forward because you're on your way to total, total fulfillment here. Stability, growth, expansion. Whether you, 
whatever new beginning or ending, whatever new beginning you started now, it has like come to the happy ending for you in October, where it's just all come full circle. Wow. Virgo, what else here? So the Four of Swords, hmm, what else? And the Two of Pentacles. So the Four of Swords, air energy here, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. It's about taking a break. You know, be sure, you know, as you're going through this process also to take time for you. Make sure you're resting, you're uh, healing, you're thinking, contemplating things through thoroughly. Um, finding some peaceful time alone. This is rest, rejuvenation, healing, thinking, contemplating energy so you don't get run down with all this passion and drive that you have. And the Two of Pentacles, so yeah, you may be juggling a lot around. This is your energy here too. So you may be, you know, things may be coming full circle, working out for you, total contentment here. Everything's going good, but you're juggling and you're doing a lot, very busy life. The Two of Pentacles energy, trying to balance things out. For you and also the four of swords is make sure to stay balanced and take that time you need to yourself in this um in this energy so you don't get run down is what i'm feeling all right so let's see what's your outcome what is your outcome what is your outcome possible outcome for you virgo for october oh how did that get Oh, I got a big clump here that's turned over. All right. All right, Virgo. What is your possible outcome here for October? Oh, I got three. Okay, so, wow. So, we have, right in the middle here is the Hierophant. This talks about commitment. This talks about uh, practicality, Faith, spiritual, religion, uh, doing things by the book, doing things moral, just, and right, structure. So I feel like you're going to be very, very dedicated in this moving forward, something you're totally committed to for the long term. Very committed to. Could also be, you know, also in that reconnecting with your spiritual faith, religion, whatever it is for you, being very grounded and stable, the hierophant, and being dedicated and committed to this for the long term. Commit, you know, higher fitness commitment long term. And then you have the King of Rods, uh, fire energy. So you got the Queen and the King of Rods now, and you have the King and Queen of Pentacles. Wow. I mean, you could be partnered with a fire sign also, but this is, uh, again, being in that King of Rods, King or Queen, where you do have the Queen there, of uh, being uh, very passion, passionate, determined, going after what you want, a lot of drive and ambition, go getter entrepreneurship kind of energy, um, that kind of energy, very creative also, Nine of Pentacles. So if you're not partnered, some of you could be single, single energy here with the Nine of Pentacles. You can be married and also self-sufficient on your own. Like you don't need your person to take care of you. You can also take care of yourself. So this is an energy if I can take care of myself, I can stand on my own two feet. I have a lot of growth and abundance on my own, married or not, committed or not. This is your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So being very self-sufficient and reliant on yourself, making things happen for yourself. Wow. Okay, so let's get uh, bottom of the deck now. Ten of Pentacles. So this is, you know, some of you, like I said, could be married, but very self-fulfilled on your own, dependent, independent on your own. And this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the, you know, usually the marriage card. Uh, two people coming together, sharing everything, growth, abundance, happy home and family, resources, you know, the whole family from the grandparents to the grandchildren, great-grandchildren, legacy of that energy. And the Ace of Pentacles, there's your brand new beginning. You've got three Aces now, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, all divinely guided for you. Growth, abundance, building on a firm foundation for a very abundant, prosperous future, new beginning growth and abundance page of swords so you know maybe learning new things um open honest truthful communication can be an energy of spying but i'm getting you could be doing some online education also and there you have the empress energy so being in your self-value your self-worth giving birth to new things in your life growth and abundance faith spirituality love and compassion uh stability 
everything here. It could be a mother, a wife. It could be, a, you know, a boss, an entrepreneur. Seven of Pentacles, you've planted these seeds a very long time ago. You worked on it very hard, and now it's all come in full circle. You just had to wait for all these pentacles to grow and flourish. Now you're assessing your situation. Nine of Rods. So this is an energy, fire energy of being, um, you know, the wounded warrior. It's been a long, hard struggle, but you know what? You keep fighting on. You have all this fire energy here, fiery, passionate, determined. You keep going on to your stability, growth, abundance. Assessing your situation. It's been a... Um, you know, maybe a long process here, but now you're the empress of your domain, your life. You know, maybe educating yourself, learning new things, open, honest, truthful communication, brand new beginnings, stable, sturdy, grounded, growth, abundance for the future, long term. And then you go from the Ace of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. So having all the growth and abundance you need for the future, happy home and family life, legacy of the uh, family for your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. Wow, okay. Did you see the green there? So that environment can be your, you have a large family, you know? All your brothers, your sisters, grandparents, great-grandparents, grandchildren, great-grandchildren for the future. Leaving that legacy of that growth and abundance. All right, so. Let's get some more messages now for you, Virgo, for October. Wow. It's like everything coming full circle. So we have Dragon's Lair, hmm, which is 19, which is 10. 10s are a completion and a new beginning. So I do feel 10, everything coming full circle. Dragon's Lair. So let me just see what that means. Number 19. Uh... You are always protected and divinely directed as here with the spiritual partnership. So trust in your intuition, your gut, your higher knowing, the messages you receive that am I crazy? What what are, you know, what are these what are these thoughts in my head? You need to learn to listen to your energy, to your inner knowing, your gut, your intuition, connecting with source, the divine, your spiritual guides, your angels. If you get random thoughts in your head and you think you're crazy, you don't understand it. They're trying to tell you something. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You're about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. So maybe this was a challenge. You know, this whole process, whatever it was for you, was a challenge. But now as you have, the, you know, you have the nine of um, rods energy there, which is that wounded warrior. So... You know, maybe it has been a challenge for you, but now I definitely feel like everything's come full circle for you. Um, that said, Perel is also exciting and exhilarating, like the changes that you feel before you enter a new relationship. Knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is a greater value in risk taking than in remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. I feel like the Eight of Cups there, you went into that uncharted territory. And you just went for it. And now everything's coming full circle for you. You went through that dragon's lair. All right. I feel like that's past energy. So we have now we have Deep Freeze, 26, which is 8. And 8 is about action, travel, communication. So I feel like maybe in the past you were in this deep freeze of feeling unfulfilled that's why you have the eight of cups and you've decided you know i know my value my worth i'm not going to stay stuck in this cold stagnant energy i want to follow my dreams my goals and ambitions and you went for it because you made those plans and you walked towards that destiny because you are in your you know king queen empress energy wow all right everything coming full circle for you i feel in october so we have rescue, which is 16, which is seven. It's a very divine spiritual number. So maybe if you, some of you, you know, asked and prayed for help here, could be that spiritual partnership over here. And you ask for help from above. 
and the seven divine spiritual number they came to your rescue they sent you those messages those uh, enlightening thoughts with the spiritual partnership here and they came to your rescue and they helped you get out of this deep freeze and they helped you through the dragon's lair through this uh change all right is there anything else for virgo match up oh my god virgo i can't make this <laughs> i can't make this shit up thank you spirit oh my god magic prayer exactly 32 5 is all about change they heard your prayers they heard them and they helped you through this change this process they rescued you they helped you they gave you gave you thoughts guidance spiritual guidance and they rescued you from this deep freeze and dragon's lair you went through and it was all a magic prayer that helped you manifest this happy ending with things coming full circle magic prayer wow can't make it up can't make it up okay virgo Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck slow and steady 12 is three working together teamwork collaboration um you know gaining experience working at your craft so slow and steady wins the race so it might have been a slow and steady process here but it's telling you slow and steady wins the race and then we have strength under that being very strong courageous and brave as you had all this fire energy here strength is leo it's just fire energy it doesn't have to be so again having all that inner strength courage bravery to move forward here in your uh, change four stability structure basis foundation eight communication travel movement wow okay virgo wow so virgo let me uh get these all so that you can see them virgo wow so i see very positive things here i just feel like everything coming Full circle, full completion, growth, abundance, love, compassion, peace, harmony. Wow. And I think it's been a long, hard change, struggle, fight. Uh, you've been through it, and now everything is just working out for you in the month of October or moving forward in the future. Wow, Virgo. I'm happy for you, Virgo. Wow. That was an amazing reading. So... Virgo. Okay, good luck to you in your situation. If you do like how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. They're all different, so don't miss out on that. And uh, I think I mentioned before, you can uh, check the description box below for past playlists. If this doesn't resonate for you, something there might. Disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. So again, good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.